What's going on YouTube? Back here for another Friday update of the Hydro Tube along the back wall of the greenhouse. No real progress made with the leaks or anything like that, but definitely have some uh, growth going on in here. I missed yesterday's video. I finally got some clips here to hold up some of my plants. Haven't gotten around to doing it. I already said that uh, I wasn't going to have that time in yesterday's video. And uh, since it's still the same day, still have uh, 2,000 predatory mites that are ready to do my bidding once sundown comes. Um, everybody else, and this is why, how about this right here? This is my Cajun bell, looking horrible. And all those little white dots you can see are white flies all over it. And I believe they are caught in webs of uh, predatory uh, or uh, spider mites. So, hmm need to get rid of those guys that's why i bought those vials um let's see who else do we got here another uh little cow horn down here not looking so hot but we got a bud right here just trying to stick up a few more buds up here it's doing stuff um this is one of the little tiny peppers i have i don't know another cow horn it's not looking so good like i said my um uh, cajun bell looking horrible um another little cow horn i believe right here no, this is my green bell. Right, I forgot I even had a green bell. Jeez, oh man. Um, it's looking pretty ravished. Uh, a lot of this stuff is just leaking. Here is a cow horn hidden in here. This is the one pepper in here that's looking good. Nice and green and lush. And then we just have a mess of tomatoes everywhere. All throughout here. Um, I'm not going to elaborate on many of these tomatoes. Oh, look at that. I think that tomato right there, indigo rose, one to the left right there. Uh, I think it just molded up right on the plant. Actually, most of those tomatoes right there in that bunch look horrible. There's a couple indigos over there. White flies everywhere. More indigos right over there. Um, even have some indigos right down in here. Looking nice. Um, I did do a halfway decent harvest off of this thing last week, so a lot of the tomatoes that were even close were already pulled. Um, just got a lot of work to do. Like, this branch that's coming up and over, it needs to be picked up, put up high. All this stuff does. I mean, look at this. It's just tons and tons and tons of growth. Look at that. Another little tiny tomato. And white flies everywhere. Um, yeah, we're just going to make this a quick video. I'll walk all the way around because my walkway is taken up. And all the way back around over to here where... See, who's this? My Serrano? Yeah, it's looking yellowing, looking crappy, but looks better than this one. This one looks horrible. <laughs> There's my uh, two little uh, praying mantises hanging out, doing their thing. Um, pretty cool. Never saw that before. Um, then I've got Indigo Rose down here, a slimy mess that's leaking. You can see it dripping and everything. Ooh. Haven't fixed that. Um, then we've got basil just all throughout in here. Look at this. Tons of basil everywhere. I think if I lift this correctly. Yeah, look. It's one gigantic freaking plant right there. It's just laying down on everybody else. Um, and you can see tons of basil in here. I think it's only like two plants of basil. And it's just a ton of it everywhere. Some of the tomatoes not liking their accommodations here. Uh, between the pests and everything. They're just not looking so hot. Um, what else were I going to say? Indigo right over there. Indigo seem to be the ones that are actually producing the most so far this year. And that's pretty much close to it. At least all I want to talk about anyway. Huh, I guess I can talk about this. There's some more uh, nowhere near ripe indigos. That one has like a little bruise on it. Probably have to pull that guy. And uh, yeah, just tons of basil everywhere. I kind of wish I had a use for basil. Need to just start uh, picking it and throwing it in the dehydrator, I guess, and uh, try to get. Holy crap! This thing's so big. Look at the cup. It's all pointed over, and you can't even pick it up. There's just so much weight to it. Holy cow! You can see the entire thing is moving. All right, so I got my work cut out on me uh, for me with the uh, whole clip idea. So, all right. Well, like I said, wanted to make this a pretty quick video. Uh, still do have some flowers and stuff like that popping off over here and blah blah blah. Alright, well, like I said, 
wanted to make... Didn't I just say that? I just said that. can't say that again. Anyway, long video, cut very short. Um, yeah, so thanks for hanging out with me. Hopefully once I get all this stuff hung up, strung up or whatever, uh, hopefully I'll be able to show off a little, show it off a little better, I guess I should say. And, uh, yeah, you might see it a little bit better for, but for right now, I mean, I'd have to get down here on my hands and knees just to try to show you what it looks like in there, and it is not looking that great. So, all right. Well, that was a long-winded, well, not really long-winded. Hmm, that's cool. Anyway, that was a walk around here, and uh, checking out the Hydro Tube. We do this every Friday, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Come back, check out my Super Hots over there on Monday. Also, over there, looking huge. On uh, Monday, my Hot Tub Aquaponic Garden over here. On Tuesdays, Lava Rock Aquaponic Garden with the Catfish. On Thursdays, don't forget to throw me a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up if you thought this was fun. Uh, if you want to catch me on Twitter, A with a circle, R-E-V-T-O. Um, don't forget to do all that fun, happy social media stuff down below. And, uh, yeah, we're having more uh, pepper tasting videos coming out, pod reviews, whatever you want to call them. Um, it's just me eating uh, hot pepper for the first time and seeing what it's like and give my reaction. So if you like those kind of videos, hit that subscribe button, come back, check out all my other stuff. Ooh, we're back here at the Hydro Tube. Um, but yeah, do all that fun, happy social media stuff down below, and I will can check out uh, some of the seed giveaways. I have one that's closed right now, still need to do a video where I'm going to announce the winners, and uh, after that we're going to have another seed giveaway, probably after that we're going to have another seed giveaway, and hopefully by then uh, we'll have a nice crop of Super Hots coming in, and we'll do another seed giveaway on the Super Hots, so hopefully, who knows, we'll find out. you have to subscribe to find out. That was my walk around here for the Friday uh, walk on the hydro walk on the hydro tube walk around the hydro tube looking at what's growing in the hydro tube and uh, yeah I got to get over there and release those predatory mites and uh, see what they do hopefully we will be getting a leg up in this pest war so all right well that was it for me this week so don't forget to hit the subscribe button thumbs up comment all that fun happy social media stuff and I catch y'all in the next video. So, till then, later. And I'm not sure how this is going to come up, but one little final addendum to the very end of the video, getting ready to release these guys, if that will focus, because this just blew my mind. Look at that. This little predatory mite. They're tiny. They're so tiny, I could barely see them. They look like they're, oh man, like a third or smaller than a grain of sand. Like, they are so tiny. But I thought that was, you can see them running around all over there. I just took the lid off for the first time. So I need to go ahead and get these guys going. They have many things to kill. <laughs>